Well, welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys had a phenomenal night with me uh, with the special class that I did. Super timely. In fact, we saw those same strategies right here in uh, today's market here. We can talk about that in a few moments. But I was really glad to be able to uh, uh, do that really special class for you guys last night. Um, and so let's go ahead with that, update you on some important things and where we're at with this market. You recall in the Sunday video uh, here and then uh, the Tuesday video that I did for you that we had this previous accumulation bar that had been broken down below and now is acting as a resistance, right? Also, this tied in very well with a strategy of mine, you know, called the stochastic spike. And in this case, this particular pattern is what we call kind of a sloppy M. And so what happens is it's pushing up, but then it goes over just a little bit more and then goes up one more time, and then that's you know where you get that drop, right? So uh, it's one of the uh, several uh, family member of uh, stochastic spike trades that we uh, have there, and all that was taking place in that area that I warned you about on Tuesday night, uh, with that now being a big uh, fat area of resistance uh, here. And now we can see all that, how it's gone and played out since. We then, of course, in last night's session, focused on some of the key strategies and then how that applied to my real life trading yesterday um, and what's great is those same strategies that we focused on last night were you know here right into uh, the end of the day uh, firing off uh, you see the uh, uh, cell zones here you can see uh, different strategies like the breakout indicators the IRBs which was you know, strategies we taught last night in the reverse IRBs so here is a reverse IRB there's a reverse IRB here's a classic IRB breakdown so, you know, uh, trade uh, tr uh, tr after trade after trade opportunities uh, that were there, well signals, the uh, breakout forecast are implying the deeper corrections. Basically, after this initial IRB uh, went ahead and uh, came to an end on that bar, uh, the market dropped uh, right about another uh, 100 points uh, there, so about $2,000 contract on the uh, NASDAQ. So, uh, really, you know, exciting to be able to share those things with you last night. So, as we're looking now into today where we're at well we've got now another reverse inventory retracement bar right here and we have an accumulation bar right over here bottom line is that is uh, a key area that we're going to be watching here very closely now. You can see kind of the same concept right over here where we have an accumulation bar. And then at the same time, we have a reverse inventory retracement bar. So we're going to be watching this area on the diamond uh, very close to so this area on the SPY over here. And this area, let me just actually take off the other lines and kind of highlight that. This area on the uh, SPY and this area on the diamond. Now, a bigger picture thing that we have to go and focus on because that's a big deal all in itself. But I want to look at the weekly chart with you because if you take a look, we got long term double Dutch support, so to speak, here, uh, where we have long term uh, support right in there and we have a big accumulation bar at the same time. So, as you can imagine, breaking down through this area and then pulling back, showing that it's now resistance and rolling over, could uh, bode very poorly uh, and instead of roughly a 30% or a 20% uh, correction, which is kind of a loose definition of a bear market, we could see well over a 30% uh, correction uh, from the highs uh, down to this area if this area becomes resistance uh, and it can push down into this target area. So we're going to be watching this. What's exciting about all that is it's nothing to be afraid of. It's something to be excited about and embrace. You know, I showed last night uh, the uh, d different strategies. You know, we talked to just for those of you that are brand new tonight to my videos is a, a reminder in the interest of full disclosure. I got a staff member who is long the SQQ uh, Q, and uh, that's an inverse ETF. Um, uh, and so this thing has been going up uh, for quite some time. So he's uh, been uh, long there uh, and because that's an inverse ETF. So it's going up while the market's going down. So there are opportunities for people that can only focus on long side, obviously, there's risks with any anything you trade or invest in, you know, precious metals, real estate, etc. Uh, they are so always consult a registered financial representative and a risk trading plan. But the point is that there are opportunities, even in a bear market, and of course, then there's opportunities to participate in the actual downside for those of you that have accounts that allow for that. So um, with that being said, a lot of excitement to come. Uh, and so we're going to be watching these key areas that I just highlighted, uh, you know, here on the weekly charts, the uh, daily charts. Uh, 
Uh, and, uh, and what we're going to also do is build upon what we went ahead and learned uh, and share that information in different ways. Again, this Saturday, one final time, so it'll be the last event in the series here. So you really want to make sure you come to this at all costs on Saturday morning, especially with the market that we're in. Go to becomeabettertrader.com forward slash go. Becomeabettertrader.com forward slash go. Uh, and join me Saturday morning. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. This will be the final in the series that you know, we kicked off last night, and uh, I cannot wait to be there with you guys. I know last night it was about a two and a half hour uh, session there because it was power packed full of a bunch of training there. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you make that time with the market because even if we hold uh, this area and we bounce off this area, well then the 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 bounce back up here could be ferocious ferocious as well and. Uh, um, the uh, that leads to its own opportunities. So either way, there's going to be incredible opportunities to come out of these key areas that we're in, uh, very, very pivotal areas that we're in right now. Uh, so go to becomeabettertrader.com forward slash go so I can do everything I possibly can in my power to prepare you for what's about to hit. Um, and I'm super excited to do that in this part uh, two of the uh, classes. So I will see you Saturday morning here, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and become a better trader.com forward slash go. Have a great rest of the evening, gang. We'll see you shortly. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.